Thermoking Heat King units provide reliable heat and temperature control to prevent your loads from freezing in cold weather. This video will help you understand and use the interface on the unit to control and maintain the proper temperature for your load. All Heat King units feature an integrated diesel engine with its own fuel supply, lubrication, and coolant system. The coolant, heated by the engine, circulates through a radiator. A fan blows heat from the radiator over the load. Heat King units monitor discharge and return air temperatures and cycle the engine on and off as needed to maintain the desired set point of the load. Heat King units feature the ThermoGuard 7 HMI or Human Machine Interface. This is how you can control the unit and how the unit can inform you of any issues that may be present. Let's take a closer look at the HMI. The HMI includes an on-off switch and three keys. The up arrow key, the down arrow key, and the select key. The HMI also has a standard display which shows return air or box temperature, temperature set point, and any alarm code numbers. There is also a separate engine hour meter screen on the HMI. There are five icon lights on the HMI. These are the alarm icon, the set point temperature icon, the return air temperature icon, the centigrade icon, and the Fahrenheit icon. So now that we have explored the interface, what does it all mean? Let's take a closer look. To get started, let's turn the unit on by flipping the on-off switch to the on position. The display will show 888 and all the icons will light up while the unit is firing up. The engine will start up and run for three minutes, then, depending upon box temperature and set point, may or may not continue to run. The engine start warning buzzer will sound before the start. Always be prepared for the engine to start at any time when the unit is on. In most cases, the HMI will default to displaying the return air temperature, that is, the temperature of the box or load. The little truck icon will be lit, and a temperature will be shown on the standard display. Either the Fahrenheit or centigrade icon will be lit to show which temperature scale is being used. Now that we can see the box temperature, let's see what our set point temperature is. We'll start by pressing the select key until the set point icon lights up. When this icon is lit, the set point temperature will be showing on the standard display. When the set point is displayed, you can use the up or down arrows to change the set point up or down. When you have reached the desired set point temperature, press and hold the select key for about 10 seconds or until the return air temperature icon comes back on, showing box temperature and also indicating that the new set point has loaded. If you skip this step, the set point will just return to its previous setting. It's a good idea, after changing set point, to verify that the desired set point has been recorded. After using the HMI, be sure to securely close the panel cover. Well, now you know how to view temperatures and set point, but before you head out on the road with a heat king unit, you will need to do a pre-trip inspection. Here are the things you will want to check with the unit off and the HMI on-off switch in the off position fuel. The unit runs much better with fuel, so make sure there's enough fuel in your unit to make your next checkpoint. Engine oil. Use the dipstick to check engine oil level. Add oil if needed. Coolant. Remove the coolant filler cap, not the pressure cap, and if coolant is low, add a 50-50 mixture of red extended life coolant and deionized or distilled water. Premixed coolants are available. Don't substitute different types of coolant or mix with tap water. Battery and electrical system. Check the battery terminals for tightness and corrosion and check all electrical connections to make sure they are securely fastened and free of corrosion. Belt. Check belt condition and tension. Belt tension specifications can be found in the operator's manual. Radiator. Make sure the radiator coil is clean. Leaks and damage. Inspect the unit for leaks of any kind and also look for loose or damaged parts. After inspecting the Heat King unit, take some time to inspect the cargo box as well. 
look for damage to the insulation, and for debris that might block airflow. Check the doors and weather seals for a tight seal. Once you have completed your pre-trip inspection, be sure to turn the unit back on and let the box warm before loading. Turn the unit off when the doors of the cargo box are open. There is no sense in trying to heat the great outdoors. Make sure the box is at or near desired temperature before loading. The Heat King's controller monitors a number of sensors and variables and under some conditions will produce an alarm. There are three types of alarms. Log alarms, check alarms, and shutdown alarms. Log alarms give you notice to take action before a condition impacts unit performance. Some maintenance items are log alarms. Any log alarms present will show for 30 seconds each time the unit is turned on. The alarm icon will light up in yellow for 30 seconds when the unit is turned on if log alarms are present. Check alarms are asking you to take some immediate action so that an issue does not become worse. Check alarms are indicated by a steady yellow alarm icon that does not go away after 30 seconds. Shutdown alarms indicate that a problem is serious enough that the unit has been shut down. If a shutdown alarm is present, the alarm icon will flash red. To view alarm codes when the alarm icon is lit, press the select key repeatedly until only the alarm icon is lit. The code number of the most recent alarm will be shown on the standard display. Use the down arrow to view previous alarms and the up arrow to view more recent alarms. Your operator's manual contains information to help you understand what each alarm code means. When you have resolved the issues behind the alarms, you can clear the alarms by pressing and holding the select key while an alarm is displayed. This will clear the alarm. Continue to do this until three dashes appear on the screen indicating that all of the alarms have been cleared. After about 10 seconds, the usual temperature display will reappear. With a little time to familiarize yourself with the Heat King interface, you will be able to get the best performance from your Heat King unit and will be able to protect your cargo regardless of ambient conditions. From moderately cool to well below zero degrees, Heat King by Thermo King can meet your needs. Thanks for watching.